Hey BBs, it's Max, and today I'm back with you guys for our all new video. How are we all doing today? I hope we're all doing super, super, super fierce. In today's video, y'all, we got our claws on the new Monster High Crew Production Wave 2 Goya Yelps doll. This is a doll that I'm so, so, so beyond excited for. I've been loving the original Goya de doll's design since ever, like, I could remember. Like, I feel like this doll has always been super ingrained in my head. Um, I grew up with Monster High, and I never really got the original doll until the 2015 reproduction. Um, and this doll is definitely very different than the new reproduction, and honestly, the original one as well. Um, and I'm really excited to kind of compare the 2015 version to the new 2024 version. Um, I think it's gonna be really, really interesting. I did get my Ghoulias, though. I got two of them, one to keep in box and one to take out of box. I got these dolls on Amazon for $24.99, and I will have an affiliated link in the description below that'll help the channel out if you guys decide you want her. I don't know if she's in stock right now for her retail price, but I do think she will be coming in and out of stock as time goes on. I've been loving the Monster High Crew production dolls overall, though. I opened Cleo and Deuce yesterday, and I have their video posted, and they are so, so, so fun. Like, I've genuinely been been so blown away by these dolls like the reproductions i've been eating and i definitely think that gulia will definitely stand um to that kind of same level and standard and i'm just so excited about it i'm um, gonna i got two of them the one that i'm gonna take out of box is the one with the worst box and the best face and so let's look at the one who has the better box because this doll is in this really fun original crew production box this style kind of started out in 2022 with the first wave and it is like a modified version of her original box it is still the iconic cherry red gulia has it has the freaky it just got fabulous and it has all of her iconic little fixins. The way that you can kind of differentiate this box, though, mainly from the original one, is the Boo Original Crew Production little tag. So if you guys are searching on eBay and secondhand websites, the reproduction will be this one little sign. Um, the other one will say like a little catchphrase for Gulia, but this is just the Crew Production one. Um, yeah, and the box is really, really cool. I really enjoy that it's very different, to be honest. It adds a new, unique flair to the doll. Um, the side of the box has Gulia's little artwork, which is super iconic and super classic, along with the Monster High logo. The top of the box has like a little like slogan somewhere i'm holding it upside down obviously um where's english one okay Urgh. translation i'm not just a comic book fan girl i'm working on my own comic book series that's Urgh. amazing <laughs> it's so cute i always love that like, ghoulie was like very fun with her like little like language and dialect so on the back of the box we obviously get to know that ghoulia is what like a She's the daughter of the zombies, which is, like, obviously she's a zombie. And we have a little fun uh, back thing, a little bio for her. Really, really cool. Very iconic. So Hoots a Lots is on here. We have a little, like, time thing, a little mixtape. Her barcode. Again, I think this doll is going to only be sold online for right now. Um, I have seen that this is coming in a stock on Walmart.com as well as Amazon. So just keep your eyes out and keep your fangs sealed, I guess, for this doll. But I'm going to get her out of the box. And I'm super, super excited to share with you guys this diva. Let's get her out of it. Gulia is all out of the box and she's super fun and super fierce and i'm just so happy to have her out of box y'all so a couple of fun things that we come with is obviously the iconic cherry red Gulia stand it is in her signature color and i'm obsessed with it we do also have her little diary which is super super fun um and it is again which i've noticed in yesterday's review is that there are like there's like the english version which is a couple pages long and then they switch to a different language after like september like, yeah they go into july and a couple different languages which is really really cool but i am I'm sad they took away the fun facts little like booklet sheet um out of all the ghouls diaries because like usually after like they have like their pages they have like a little like this blurb um from like the back of the box which i'm super upset that it's just kind of cut from the diary because i used to love reading these um in the journals when i was younger but it's honestly not that big of a deal i don't really look at these anyway they're just kind of more for display but i do like that they again included the little diary um it is really really cute it's a little fun little detail she does obviously also have a monster high comb in her signature red color as well the same as the stand so if y'all like to display them together they look cohesive but i kind of just like again throw mine in the bin um, some other fun accessories is her pet Sir Hoots a lot. So fun. I've always loved Sir Hoots a lot. And I have one of them from the Mons the uh Ghoulia scooter pack. But it is always fun to have more molds of him. And you can kind of have, since he has like the little owl thing, you could put him on like her arm. Cause like she's like a zombie. So it's like I've always loved this detail ever since I was like a little kid. I just love, love, love this. And I'm super happy that I have um, the ability to display her like this right now because she looks amazing. I also have her little purse, which is the monster mix, and it has a little like lanyard little like fabric strap which is cool i mean it has a little like buckle thing i don't know if this actually comes out or anything it might oh it does that's cool that's cool it can come out and can like click it back in that's really really fun and i'll display it with her in just a moment 
I personally think it's time to look over Miss Ghoulia, though, the doll herself, because I have just been out of the moon over this reproduction. I think she looks phenomenal. So this doll has some changes. Like, the biggest change that I can tell you right now is that this doll has saran hair instead of Kineclon hair, which the original wave of Ghoulia used. They don't produce dog-grade Kineclon anymore, um, so I am really happy that they were able to match her hair um, from, like, the original blend. Here it is a kind of a comparison. I think they match the colors pretty nicely. Obviously, the new saran variant is... Um, a little bit more icy toned. It, they, it's not like an exact match, but I'm super happy that it is saran hair, not polypropylene. Thank you, Monster High, for using saran on this reproduction doll because I would have been super devastated if it was anything but saran. Um, it's just such a nice soft hair fiber and it goes down to around her waist. Um, mine is a little bit boxy hair, so she could definitely use a nice little boil wash and just like a conditioner and some soap and stuff to just kind of get these cr creases and kinks out of her hair. But overall, it's a very, very nice blend and it's not super choppy. I mean, obviously, the original one was kind of choppy but i'm content with how the hair is laying right now it looks super cute and super fun she does have her iconic green headband though and it is kind of tea tied into her head so if you guys want this headband to stay on leave these in honestly there's no reason to take them out um leave them in leave those like pro tip leave them in um and she does have her iconic glasses Gulia though has like a plastic piece protector for her glasses so the paint doesn't stain the actual doll's face which i appreciate i'm gonna take mine off though in just a minute but it is kind of cool to kind of see how it looks so if any of you guys need to like ever put this back on here's how it looks just for an out of the box um really really cool it's a nice little detail i think and removing the little like plastic piece wasn't as hard it's just a couple tea ties so um it's a really easy little process you can just kind of slide the glasses off you can keep this if you want to i'm gonna keep mine in the trash can and she does look pretty good with them off like it looks very original her face though is really 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 pretty she has the glitter on her under eye she has the dark eye shadow smoky this lip is juicy and big i love her little like zipper earrings as well they have the monster high logo in them i've always 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 loved these earrings they are super 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 fun and super cutesy patootsie i also did want to say i noticed that Gulia's like hair style is a little bit different than the original one in the original one they pulled out the front two pieces to have like this like under one and they only did it for one side this side is not in any sort of style but i'm gonna just take mine like this after the i'm filming stuff put it back under here put it on the tie and then i'm gonna put the glasses within the hair so they stay on like so something securing the glasses on her i think the glass protector is cute for like inbox collectors again so the paint doesn't smudge but for me personally i think the glass protector makes her look super dorky um obviously the glasses are kind of falling off right now but um they'll be fine just gotta like adjust them and yeah i love the glasses and again they have a little like window in them so it's like actually like a glare on it which is really really cool so like mimics real glasses these glasses are also just like super iconic to gulia's character overall and her aesthetic and i really really love that they I don't know, they just look so, super cute and super fun. She has the original, like, little, like, Coke bottle um, choker thing. She has her fun, like, iconic outfit. Like, this outfit's iconic. This is one piece, so these pieces cannot be removed. But they are, like, separately sewn on, which is really, really cool. We have this, like, cherry crown of crop top with a Monster High School Up plastic logo in it. And this, like, undershirt, which is just, like, some stripes. And it is a bodysuit. This can be removed. Um, her little, like... Thing. so she has the bodysuit for the top which is really really cool again if you want to kind of give her that ability to have like a swimsuit or whatever she has her iconic little like fishnet black gloves which are such a nice little detailed piece i think these are super 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 cutesy patootsy with her little like piano kind of belt it has the monster high logo in it and it is painted super nicely i'm really really impressed by the painting on here gulia also has her like little like pants um, which are, again, corduroys, and you can kind of take them off if you want to. They also go down to her giant th Comber heel thing, and they're painted super, super nicely. We have the Monster High Little Converse logo, the heel, and all of it is just super, super, super fun. And while I don't have the original Gulia to compare her to the reproduction, I do have the 2015, like, Amazon exclusive five. I don't know if this is Amazon exclusive, but I know this is like a five six pack um, that was re-released back in 2015 with the original Ghouls dolls, all the little reproductions. And I again, this is the only experience that I have with her, so I want to kind of compare these two. They have um, very different hairs. Again, the uh, Kanekalon is a much more voluminous, and it's a lot more pin straight. I mean, obviously. This box hair has been washed and conditioned and boil washed many times, and this one is just kind of fresh from the packaging. But um, they look very, very different. I, th I would say very, very different. I could tell by the 2015 doll that these are shorter um, little fishnets and these are longer. The um, top is also like a one-sided printed on little crop top and it's kind of just very sad in comparison to the original she does have a very different color in like the pants as well like these pants are all this is all one piece 
Um, these are obviously two pieces. These are much darker and these are much more vivid. And the shoes have a lot more paint on the... I think these are on wrong, actually, so that's my fault. But the, um, the doll has a lot more paint in the new one rather than the 2015 one. And obviously, the 2015 one did not come with any pet or any purse. So that is definitely a huge upgrade. I don't really know if that many people own the 2015 Gulia. Again, this doll wasn't like... She's not rare, but I don't think she was really sold in stores and she wasn't like produced like this one will be. Um, or at least I'm hoping this one's produced more and this one's just kind of fades off into irrelevancy. But well, okay, also really quickly, let's take a look at the faces. Um, yeah, I mean, they're pretty similar, I would say. I mean, the 2015 one has darker lips and I think the eyes, though, look very, very similar. I think there's darker brows on the 2015 one, though, as well. Overall, again, this doll's a little bit more obscure, but I think the 2024 doll is just such a good one. And like, again, the 2015 one is kind of booty, so it's not like super fair to compare them, but um... She just has so much more higher quality details, and I'm just super happy to have her in my collection. I think she's a really, really fun one, and I'm super excited to get her hair done um, and all that fun little commotion. Overall, let me know all of your thoughts and all of your feelings on the new Monster High 2024 Gulia reproduction doll. I'm dying to know if you guys have this doll, you guys want this doll, is she on your wish list? is she on your shopping order, is she coming in the mail, do you guys have any experience with the original Gulia doll? I just want to know all of your thoughts and all of your feelings in the comments below. For me personally, I'm just, again, so excited to have her in my collection, I'm super happy to have one in box, I'm just super happy to have Gulia join the rest of the boo crew on display um yeah a really really cool moment for me i'm just so excited she looks super cool again already and she's gonna look super super nice after a spa day but um for now again thank you guys so 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 much for watching today's video i'm dying to talk to you guys in the comments below but i will see you guys in the next one i love you all endlessly and i'll see you very very soon love you bye bye everybody